Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to my channel and the official first episode of Tea with Lily. It's an idea I've had for a while um, in an effort to be more intentional about the separate parts of my vlog and as I'm adding the vegan meal prep part and uh, all these other ideas that I have, I'm trying to create a platform that's easy for me to work within to get more content out to you guys. So my informative videos, um, stuff on autism and that kind of thing, are going to be its own series now, Tea with Lily. So I'll have my tea in the morning and I will share bits and pieces about whatever the heck. Autism, chronic illness, my life, who knows. Um, it's, 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 it's fluid, it's flux right now, whatever happens, happens, but if you have ideas for future Tea with Lily episodes, I realize it's funny to say that now when there's, the, 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 the series is, 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 is brand new, and you guys don't necessarily know, like, what direction it's going in, but, uh, let's let it evolve and, uh, see what happens together. So. Hmm. I am drinking this morning. Um, Yorkshire classic English black tea. It actually, uh, I got it for Christmas, a great box, a big box of it. I had to order it online because it's, uh, it's English, it's proper English tea. It's what I drank when I was in England the whole summer there. So Yorkshire tea. And, uh, that's, that's the tea I have in the morning. I do classic British milk and sugar. Well, in lieu of milk right now, I've got, um, some nutritional supplement stuff that my doctor has me on to keep me from losing more weight. So that's that story. As I'm sure you guys will notice, you guys will notice, mornings are different for me com communication wise. So you'll just have to get used to that. It's good practice for me though. Um, I usually don't talk in the morning as much. I don't interact with a whole bunch of people like right when I wake up because uh, speech is not, you know, the first thing that comes to me ever, really. So yeah. Okie dokie artichokies. So this morning, the topic on my mind is perseveration. Um, it's a term I want to use a lot more than I do, but I don't because I know that not many people may know what that means. Um, perseveration is a common autism term. <clears throat> and um, it is a sort of it's a stimming behavior, I guess. Um, perseveration can be mental, like, thoughts, or it can be phrases, verbal phrases that I say out loud. Um, and let me get you guys the, like, real definition here real quick. I am totally prepared for this. So I'm looking it up right now, but as I said, fluid. Alright, perseverate is a uh, psychology term, like at its most basic, what it means. It means to, pre to repeat or prolong an action, thought, or utterance after the stimulus that prompted it has ceased. That's kind of lots of weird words. Basically what that means is perseveration is repeating something over and over um, as, a, as a stim, I mean like a mental stim. Um, you have echolalia which is uh, repeating back words that someone else has said, whether in conversation or from a TV show or whatever. Um, an example of that is like in person. I, I do echolalia, not all the time, but I do it sometimes. What it looks like when it happens with me is someone will be talking to me and I'll say like, for example, did you see where I, you know, 
did you see where the laundry basket went or something they'll be asking me and i'll say laundry basket like oh yeah it's over downstairs or whatever ukulele is the repeating um it's it's, it's kind of involuntary sometimes it isn't um but uh, so that's ukuleles when you verbally repeat something um it's an autism thing and uh, echologia is what i do more i, I do echologia more than i do echolalia and it's a uh, repeating a thought over and over um, i do this a lot with like movie quotes i'll be watching a tv show and a line will get stuck in my head and it'll, i'll repeat i'll echologia that thought sometimes it's things that i've said or written like song lyrics or poetry or it can be anything echology can be anything um, I just, it sounds nice in my brain and I'll repeat it. And it's the same with echolalia. It sounds nice, it feels nice, oral motor, sensory wise, and you repeat that over and over. It's a common thing in autism. And, uh, yeah, so for me, perseveration is very echologia. Um, I'll get a thought stuck in my head and I'll, it'll be repeat over and over and over and it'll be satisfying every time it repeats. That's perseveration. The distinction with perseveration and like just meaningless repetition is that it is sensory or, or, or otherwise satisfying every time you repeat the action. Um, the definition says it's the action is repeated long after the stimulus has ceased. So the thing that's causing the enjoyment of that action for most people, you do it once, you enjoyed it, you're satisfied, you're done. Uh, perseveration is that that uh, that enjoyment, the the response to the stimulus, you know, if it's a song that you like uh, and you listen to it over and over, or if it's a movie that you like that you watch a bunch of times, that's perseveration in its mildest form for everybody. And it's more severe, more autistic form is like exacerbated and almost obsessive repetition of these things. I do it a lot with the TV shows and the movies I watch. I watch the same things over and over. Um, again, another common autistic thing. And, uh, that's, that's perseveration over and over again, um, watching the same thing uh, that way. <clears throat> For me, perseveration is also uh, like a mental stim as far as concentration goes. Like, so say someone says something to me and I'm thinking on it, I'm mulling over it. Um, it's kind of like echolalia, someone will say like, uh, what would you like for breakfast? And if I get stuck, if I echologia that thought, what do I want for breakfast? I'm trying to think it through, I'm trying to process what the person has said. So I might think breakfast, 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 like in my head over and over and over again is echologia. Perseveration is that way for me, it's my echologia where long throughout the day, if that word gets stuck, if I really like the way that feel, I say feels in my brain, I think you guys know what I mean. If I really like the way that feels, it'll echo. Uh, so it can be actions, it can be words, it can be thoughts. Perseveration is just repeating an action and getting the same satisfaction out of it every time. You know, most people, they would do something a couple times. You know, they do something once, they'd enjoyed it, watch it over again. Oh, like, watch a music video on YouTube that was really good, you really enjoyed, let me watch that again. And most people would be done. That stimulus has ceased, you don't have the urge to repeat that again and again and again to get that enjoyment out of it because it's satisfied. Autistic people don't have that, in, don't, some autistic people, I've, uh, sorry, uh, don't have that inhibition to, you know, that to stop, um, because things that do, that are satisfying to us, we do latch onto them, and we repeat that stimulus over and over to get that same satisfaction, to feel that same need, whatever it is, sensory, mental, uh, intellectual stimulation, you know, echologia, whatever. Um, I think for me, because verbal speech is difficult for me, I don't echolalia as much, that's the repeating the words because it's effort. Whereas for me, I have a tendency to get mentally understimulated. I get bored easily, and I just, I, I think a lot. I like to think. And if my brain is bored, uh, echologia is something that'll, that'll happen a lot. I'll repeat something that's satisfying. A TV quote that I really like of, you know, of a TV show I just watched that'll get stuck. Um, the funny thing about perseveration and echologia and echolalia is it can come from anywhere. Uh, sometimes I perseverate a quote from a movie I just watched. Sometimes I'll remember a line from a show that I really liked uh, that I haven't seen in years and I'll perseverate that and I'll echo echologia, you know, over and over again, repeating that stimulus um, to get that, you know, to get that, that, that input, um, as it were. So that's perseveration, you guys. I do it a lot. Um, there's a lot more that to be said about perseveration and everybody does it differently. It looks different 
for everybody because every autistic person is unique. Um, but that's just my experience with echolalia, echolodia, and perseveration. And uh, if you have any questions about it or um, would like me to expand on the topic um, in future videos of this series, let me know. If you have topic videos, things that you'd like me to talk about, uh, things that I've alluded to in past videos that I haven't gotten back to yet, you know, that you've noticed that you've been waiting on, um, do let me know in the comments what you'd like me to talk about on this, uh, show. <laughs> uh, anyway. That's, that's it. I'm, I'm just winging this, you guys. Uh, but that's, um, my thoughts on perseveration. And this has been Tea with Lily. Um, against my lucky stars, I will try to do it every day. But I don't have tea every day. So when I do have tea, I will try to sit down, have my tea with you guys, enjoy the morning on my vlog with you guys. And, um... You know, The End by Leslie Nope. Movie quote. I say movie, I meant TV. I, that's something I've been perseverating or, or echolalia-ing a lot, is I'll lose my train of thought, or not lose my train of thought, but I'll stop talking and be like, The End by Leslie Nope. <laughs> it's a quote from Parks and Rec, which is a show I watch a lot. <laughs> Alrighty, my friends. Until next time, stay classy, stim freely. If you're a tea fan and you have some tea to recommend, let me know. Smash that subscribe button, smash the notification if you'd like to be notified of when I post videos. I will be posting more frequently as I get more energy now. And uh, as always, check out my social media links below and get with me on any of those platforms. Um, because social media being is basically all I do right now. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.